guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you just found us, thanks. Stick around. We'll grow on you. If you're back for more, I'll really appreciate you. It's just a fun old hot ride time here at Spanky's Hot Rides and Customs. So with that said, let's get into the Chevy Impala. We're going to work on the back seat some more and see which direction we need to go. We've got a lot to do, so let's get after it. All right, so we're back. And I'm trying to get the back of the seat off. And one thing that I one thing that I learned is that uh, you need to be better at uh, taping up where you don't want the fiber glass to go. And I've known that, but sometimes it gets around the edges. And uh, another thing is this yellow tape, the body shop tape that I use. Uh, it actually sticks really good, so uh, it, it itself is hard to pull off. So let me get the rest of this off, and we'll see what this thing looks like. Another thing is I fiberglassed over a couple of the screws that I had to temporarily hold it in, and that wasn't fun. I had to grind the heads off of them. All right, so I've got this out. Let's take it over to the sawhorse and uh, let's take it over to the bench and see uh, what it looks like. All right, what a beautiful morning. Liquid sunshine. All right, we got the uh, back of the back seat out and uh, got the door open because we're going to try to get all of this fiberglass dust as we trim out uh, the glass that we lay to a nice tighter pattern to where the foam's going to be. It's not going to be way down here and it's not going to be way over here, but I ran it like that so that we have a larger edge. Sorry for the airplanes, guys. We're right in that flight path for the Memphis International Airport. FedEx flies over here about every... 30 seconds, so it gets kind of loud when the doors are up. Not to mention all the rain. All right, so uh, let's get this trimmed out. All right, so this is where I'm going to trim it along these lines that I made. I may do uh, something a little bit different over here on this one. And uh, we'll try to see if we can't get this uh, trimmed up and looking good. And then we'll lay some glass on the black side. And here comes another airplane right on cue. All Maybe this makes a little bit more sense now. I've got all the stuff that we're not going to use cut off of it. You see some spots that I've still got to go back and put a little bit of glass. But all this side right here will get sanded again. And then we'll do the back side to where we'll hook this glass to the back of the panel. This will all be smooth. And then our upholstery will be able to wrap around and glue to the uh, fiberglass on the edges, just like it would if it was made out of aluminum. But it being glass, it's gonna allow us to uh, trim as we need to. So now, if you remember the mark that I made across the back on the top, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to sand that down to that line and uh, see if we can't get that straightened up a little bit. And that goes against the top. It'll sit in just like this. And what we're going to do now is uh, 
get it smooth across the top and even. None of that's going to, none of this is going to show, but the better we bleed this, the better results we'll have as we go down the road. All right, so we just glassed the back side exactly the way we did the front side. I just cut up some little strips that you can see that are soaked right now with the resin and roughed up the glass and roughed up the wood and laid it on. So now this is gonna be twice as strong as it was and super smooth. We'll uh, probably put a sound deadening material on the back of this board after we do the uh, seat or I'll put the sound deadening on it and then I'll cover this with uh, some type of a nice cloth because you'll be able to see it through the trunk once you remove some panels. We wanted to keep it super clean. So from this point, we'll end up having to uh, design our foam, cut our foam and get it laminated to the wood. All right, so I've got it back in the car, got it screwed in and everything. I want to put this foam back in here and kind of show you a direction that we can go. Now, of course, uh, I pretty much decided that I'd like to make this one long bench seat instead of two bucket seats. Not 100% yet, but about 80%, sure. And the reason that I want to do that is, uh, you know, I don't want to make this look like a Lexus or a BMW with divided seats like this. You know, it's a classic car and it needs to look like a classic car. So, uh, I just don't like this right here. And I, I you know, a lot of guys do that, but hey, if you want that kind of interior, just go buy your Lexus. So, I believe I need to square off, if I use this foam here, I'm going to need to square off the edges, fill the foam in in the center. I don't think that the car needs a rear console. I think it just needs a nice one-piece back seat with a classic design to it to match the front seats. I do kind of like the sculpted foam. Uh, we might be, we might put some boasters over on the side in the back. Uh, that one doesn't go there, but we, we're going to make some new ones or something. Uh, but the edges will get cut square. The fiberglass piece that we added over here will have foam come down that, and then we'll have the armrest going up to meet that. So there's still a lot of work to do, but the back is done. You guys help me do that. We've got the bottom made. We've got to cut this foam or we've got to order some foam to finish our design back here. So that's going to be the next, the next step on this car is the foam in the back seat. We're going to pick that up and continue that or, uh, I may jump on some wiring because we've got some wiring that we need to pull on the car and do some wiring. But I've got to figure out the foam or the foam that we're gonna use and uh, get that ready for the next step so we get this, uh, the foam laid out, get all the patterns and stuff laid out for it. Well guys, I think that's gonna about do it today. Uh, we got a lot done. We still got a long ways to go. All of these little bitty projects that we do, at the very end, we're gonna have a killer car. And it just takes time. So, with that said, if you're through watching, get out in your garage and go build something. Till next time, see you in the next video.